I must say the Rotom Rupport has always been one of my favorite choirs, and and uh, that I am now the chief conductor of the Rotom Rupport. It's it's uh, you know it's it's something that makes me very very happy. And uh, I mean there are no two questions about that. That the the, the choir belongs to the elite of uh, choral singing in the world. Because I already knew the choir from recordings, and uh, and the warmth of the sound has always uh, uh, impressed me much. And uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very, very specific sound, and uh, which you, you don't find with, with other choirs. It's very, very typical of this choir. Talking about um, the warmth of the sound, uh, 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 the, the, you see, you, you can have sounds which are um, uh, uh, vocally at a level, which are clean, and I think that the word in Dutch would be zyver, and but but uh, on top of that, there is a an element, an almost Italianate element of vocal production that this choir has that makes it really, really very special. And I am really aiming at keeping this and improving this and really making it even more brilliant than it is at the moment. I might be considered one of the examples of uh, of non-specialist working. Because uh, uh, I work as a choral conductor and I also work as, a, as an orchestral conductor, which is in, 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 in the scene is something that is very rare. I mean, I'm not talking that I'm special. I'm just saying that this is not, not the normal case because people tend normally to say, well, if you do new music, you can't do Mozart. If you, if you do Wagner, you can't do John Adams. But the flexibility of the Rotom Group Corps is something that I also admire a lot. The, the ability to do different styles stylistically in, in a proper manner. So this is something that really makes me very, very keen about working here uh, with the choir. And uh, uh, if, you, if you ask me how it is possible, well, uh, I think that uh, the, the quality of the singers is, is, is a very, very important point. The flexibility, the vocal flexibility to be able to sing, for instance, non vibrato when we do early music, when we do uh, uh, even Bach, for instance, uh, uh, and to bring the voice to a point where it can sing high romantic repertoire uh, like Meistersinger, Wagner, uh, and, and, and then being able to use these uh, technical uh, abilities in, in order to achieve and to, to make modern repertoire. That's something that is, is very special, and uh, which I think we have here, and I think that this is something that should be really taken care of. And uh, it, it, it is a, a, a very positive characteristic of this choir. This profession has many musical aspects to that, which you can learn. Uh, at a, a, a high school, at an academy, a conservatory, or whatever. But there are many aspects connected to this profession, and the psychological one is one of those, particularly if you work with singers which have a completely different mindset from orchestral players. They're musicians all the same, but the fact that a singer has the instrument inside himself or herself makes it, makes that artist a very, psychologically, a very special artist. So the psychological uh, uh, approach is all the more important for a choral conductor because uh, you have to know how to talk to singers and how to treat singers. Singers are extremely vulnerable, of course, because they, they, they don't have the wall of the instrument between them and the music. They are the music. They do, they produce it. And, 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 and that's why I have a great admiration for what they do. And, I, and, uh, and that's why, I, 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 as I said, I work as an orchestral conductor, but I can't do my orchestral repertoire if I don't work with voices because the vocal work is so important. It's so, it's so unique. We always leave the concert hall with a feeling, well, that was good, but it could be better. And, and that's what makes us really interested in what we do.
because we really, we always see something that can be done better. We always hear, we always, uh, we are activating our fantasies in a way that we, we, we always, um, we can always see a way ahead. And that's why music is so important to me. And I think that it remains a very important art for everybody, not only for musicians, but also for non-musicians, because it trains your fantasy, it demands your fantasy. And fantasy is something that, particularly in times of crisis, can be very, very important.